in the tradition of Malcolm X. Peace be unto you. I want to do a quick talk about a projection that I made last year concerning what the homicide total would be for the year 2022. Now you can see this headline dated January 7th that the Oakland homicide rate for 2022 was about 119. Now sometimes they reclassify homicides as murder so that number could go up a little bit. But pretty much it makes the point and it, that is the reason for me making this short talk because on June 4th, 2022, I calculated the probability of murder for the year 2022 on my YouTube talk, The Black Community, Stable Instability. Nothing has changed. In that talk, and you can see uh, my calculation, in that talk, I calculated that there was a point. 588852 probability that the homicide rate or murder rate would fall between 90 and 130 killings. Now, round it up, that means there was a 60% chance that there would be between 90 and 130 homicides in the city of Oakland in the year 2022. Now, the fact is, there were 100 and 19 homicides. So my calculation was accurate. Uh, the murder number fell between 90 and 130. Now, one of the points that I've been making over and over again is that murder in Oakland is as predictable as a heartbeat. And of course, that applies to cities all over the United States. And one point also remember that I make is that short term data does not allow you to make a cogent analysis or prediction of what to expect and what the causes may be for the homicide rate. When you're given five or six or 10 years or even 12 years of data, that's not sufficient. And so what I have done and what I recommend is that you look at data going back to 1969 in Oakland. And there's a lot of reasons for that, which I don't really have time to discuss with you today, because I want to keep this as short as possible. I've made my point. Now, one other thing that I want to show you is a probability analysis using Poisson distribution, the Poisson distribution, because this particular distribution shows you the per diem, that is to say, the, the, the probability of homicide given a specific number of days. And you can see here that, for instance, the probability of a homicide within two days is about 70%, within three days, 0.79%, or you can round that up to 80%, and so forth. So all the way down to probability of a homicide within 10 days, you can see 0.98%. In other words, by the ninth and 10th day, you are going to have a murder somewhere in Oakland. Now, it might be classified as a homicide because there's, there's degrees of uh, murder, manslaughter, and so forth. But my point is that, again, uh, this is as predictable as a heartbeat. In fact, uh, there is a murder about, and I'm rounding off, every three days in Oakland. Every three days. One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. Now, let me conclude this short talk. There are undercurrents, powerful undercurrents, many of which are emotional in nature, and of course, some of which are 
very uh, premeditated in nature, that is to say, uh, intentional murder, that are like riptides in the community. And you cannot see them on the surface. Uh, you cannot really get a grip of why this is happening in Oakland, a port city, by the way, and you have to keep that in mind. And there's reasons for being concerned when you are a port city that things are going to be smuggled in like drugs and people and so forth and so on. And so a lot of those conditions give rise to these undercurrents that drive the homicide waves year by year by year, month by month by month, day by day by day. And so that's food for thought when it comes to attempting to reduce homicide. There's a lot of dimensions to the problem in the city of Oakland. And like I said, don't fall for the rhetoric. Don't fall for the media, emotionalism, sensationalism, and don't fall for the short-term data. You have to go long-term, and you have to do a, uh, an analysis uh, that obviously is going to require you to apply some basic fundamental mathematical principles to get a idea of what to expect for 2023. And here's what I'm suggesting for 2023. And I haven't done any calculations yet, but 2023 will be worse or the same because of climate conditions because of this uh, war that the United States is waging with Russia through Ukraine for the increased rents driving hundreds of families in Oakland onto the streets. And of course, that is occurring throughout the nation. You have to factor in all of these variables, all of these conditions that are changing so that you can get a grip on the idea that the people African-Americans, Latinos living in Oakland and poor white people are in part victims of the malfeasance in Washington, D.C. and in police departments locally, as is the case in Oakland. And that's why Oakland is under federal management after 20 years to this day. I am Dr. Stephen Noor Ahmed. Peace be unto you.